gentlemen. My name is Elizabeth Dixon. I live at 3380 Edison Street. That would be anything. And I'm not going to recreate the wheel. Okay, My thanks. concerns are the fracking. And I am one of the homes that the pipeline wants to go directly under. So, as a mother of three children in Lake School District, I'm very proud of that. Um, I hate to see this happen to the community. And I guess, you know, in reviewing, you know, what I've listened to everybody say, what I've researched, I guess I just don't understand how. I know you're going to do the resolution, and I appreciate that, but I see that Hartville banned this. How are we different? They can do this because it's a organized village. They own the land. Okay. The land they're owning is what they think. Okay. Like where they're building not, is. Not the whole building. Okay. So <laughs> if Plain Township then instituted the same ban, how are they different than us? Well, I, my my concern is whether that yeah, ban carries any weight. It's a ban for the drilling. We own under. For instance, I'm not allowed to talk, but I'm going to talk anyway. Sure. We own some land down Midway Street. Mm -hmm. That land is under lease. That's we don't have there. nothing to do with it. It was leased when we bought it. Okay. That is still under lease. And if they want to drill there, we can't stop them. From it. We can scream, we can holler, but we have no... It's already been signed up. It's been Basically, signed, and there's, no there's lots of these old leases that have been signed over in Lake Township years ago. That's why I said there's over 3,000 wells in Stark County. Okay. And the only thing I look at is common sense. Everybody in here probably heats with gas at home. But we don't want to drill here. We want to go over to Arabia and bring their gas and oil over. And how do we get our heat? How I do don't mind drilling, sir. I don't want to live on top of it. Oh, That's I agree the difference. With you. That's fine. Okay? That's fine. Would you want to live on top of if it? You if you own the land, well you've got a right to do that. I, I, apparently, I don't have a right, though. Do you have a lease? I am not signing the lease. You don't have to. Okay, and if it they goes can't to drill under you. Manda mandatory pooling, they can't drill under you. No. The way I see it, and that's, okay. and that's, a, that's, that's another no. issue in itself. See, that's because not we're not just talking control. about the drilling. We're not just talking about water contamination. Control. We're talking Elizabeth. about air. We're talking about damage to roads, which we will all pay for because it's in our community. I think the Stark County engineer has addressed this on the roads already. And what is their yep. server? You've got to talk to him, but they are cooperating with him. They tell him where to go, and they will fix the roads if they tear them up. And there's a lot more restrictions on them in Ohio than there has been in any other place they've drilled, as far as I know. What about ODNR. air pollution, then? Well, that's something they got addressed with Ohio with ODNR. We do not have control on that. You know, you want us to be controlled, but we don't have the control. I'm not asking for state control, government. I just am asking for... We're, our main purpose, truthfully, as trustees, is from the township, from the standpoint of taking care of the roads, drawing the snow... What about the people in it, sir? What about the people here? Do the people That's not give you the, the access right. to the roads so that you can be here at this desk tonight? Do we not do that? It's the people first. What has happened to that concept in our United States? I would do without gas. I would start riding a horse and buggy again if I could to get this out of our system. It's ridiculous. It's insane. And Ohio has just grasped onto this mass drilling frenzy because people like you are signing leases to all their properties. Good for you, dude.